Hey everybody, hello and good evening. Greetings from New Market, Virginia. Local time here is uh, 8.20. Once again, today is Friday, July 13, 2018. Temperature is 77 degrees. Baby Blue and I are on our way to Timberville, Virginia, which is... Uh, 7.4 miles away we're gonna get off here at exit 264 us 211 and uh, baby blue and I are picking up a load of chicken at pilgrim's pride delivering to Reinhardt foods in La Crosse Wisconsin I just talked to Larry about 30 seconds ago and he is still in Allentown getting loaded. I forgot to ask him but I think he is on his way to Frederick, Maryland. In the meantime, I think the boss has uh, assigned one of ADL's warriors to pick up the uh, Moorfield West Virginia load that's bound for Shawano, Wisconsin alright we are now just 6.3 miles away to uh, the shipper, which is Pilgrim's Pride. I believe we are traveling on Highway 211. For those of you who are new to the channel, welcome and thank you for uh, subscribing. If not, you can always press that subscribe button and that uh, bell. That way you will be notified as soon as the new video will come up. And once again, if you find these video worthy of watching, who knows? You might just find them worthy of sharing. Please comment and subscribe. Timberville, six miles. Headlights, please. Virginia. This scene right here you can't beat. Beautiful sunset.
quiet, taking it all in, right? Absolutely a beautiful evening. going to make a left turn on South Main Street, Virginia 42. There's Walmart. Man, I wish I had time to stop at Walmart. a right on Macaulay Drive, which is this traffic light, I believe. We can do it. We can do it. Alright, here's the weird part about this load. See that railroad uh, sign right there? I'll show you. There's a dock right there by the railroad's uh, track. See the railroad right there? There's a dock. I don't know if you could see it. Yeah, you can. Right there, dock 10. That's where we're gonna get loaded. On the left. On the left. The other left my left <laughs> but in order for us to check in we got to go through here go all the way around the building and then uh, come back out that's the way it was the last time anyway so who knows all right let me get this uh, checked in here at the guard and uh, I'll be right back peace well guess what everybody I uh, I expected that uh, I was gonna go into the gate, check in, come back out, and as I mentioned earlier, I was gonna get loaded here in Dock 10 by the railroad. Apparently not. I checked in. They told me to take door three, which is right there next to the shipping door, shipping office, and so. Never bothered to video it. I don't. 
I think Moorfield's a little bit uh, strict when it comes to videotaping in their facility because, well, you could understand a lot of people out there, a lot of uh, animal activists are probably unhappy of, you know, chicken and all that stuff. So they say no and I have to respect it. All right, the local time here it is 10.09. Baby Blue and I are on our way to La Crosse, Wisconsin. We are loaded with a, just about a half a trailer full of chicken. A fresh dressed chicken for La Crosse, Wisconsin, Reinhardt Foods. But tonight, I have only set Thomas to bring me to uh, probably Zanesville, Ohio. Or maybe I even have the GPS set for wheeling. But we're going to try our darndest best to, to make it to Zanesville. That way we can finish the rest of it tomorrow and be there by uh, tomorrow night in La Crosse. is really light. I'm not sure the exact poundage but uh, very very light. Ah, what else is there? Oh got some news. The APU quit. I checked the coolant. It's full. Check the oil, it's about a half of a little bit more than a half on the dipstick. Maybe, maybe I'm willing to entertain the idea that it is probably low on oil. Whenever it shuts down, it trips the uh, the breaker, then I get this engine. Uh, engine code check code comes up uh, I don't know it's always something you know that uh, that APU is supposed to save you a lot of money right but the way that thing's been going I don't know it's almost cheaper to idle the truck <laughs> And having that thing repaired all the time. She's before I went on vacation. That was like eight hundred dollars. Then the belt went. That's a hundred. That's got to be a thousand dollars right there. A thousand dollars in less than a month. Now, let's just say that was how many how many gallons would it take? Well, it's a gallon per hour. Roughly eight to nine hours of idle a day. Times how many days I've been out with it. I still don't think it comes up to a thousand dollars. Alright, uh, right now though, my most immediate goal is to head to uh, Hey, 
you know what? I don't want to go to Clearbrook, Virginia. I'm going to go to Tom's Brook, Virginia at the Pilot. They do have the coffee machine up there. They got three of them. And I need to get some fuel and most importantly, I need to get some, uh, I need to use their transflow. Yeah, that's that's the goal. All right, as you can see, there's not much out here to video, so we'll catch you guys later. As always, thank you very much for watching. Have a good and godly day, everybody. Gotta be good here. Peace.